I don't know, man. Maybe you were up as far. You know, you might be up as far as you can go. Can you lift the door at all? Is it just stiff with those plastic uh, pieces on the top and the bottom? Yeah. Okay, there they come. That's oh, yeah, good. these guys. And, man, it's a tough one today. Oh, they're just glued in there, huh? Oh, sounds like it's got caulking or something on it. Huh. Um, and sometimes, I don't know, I've seen Brad say he's been keeping these on. Sometimes I take them off. But, Sometimes with these doors, you'll hear Mark, I don't know if you've heard Mark say this or not, but sometimes you have to make the house fit the door and not the door fit the opening because these are so flexible right, right. that they're easy to, uh, boy, that didn't work. So far, so good, though, man. But that blower door is like, they're saying that it's like having 20 mile an hour wind on all four sides of your house. Just with the compression that's drawing out, you know, it's like having it. Right. The wind was. That's pretty fierce. Still can't find it. I'm gonna. I'll tear the bottom off of this here. all over the place and uh, I, man there must be 10 different junctions right all hooking together and I I can't see anything where it's leaking that bad though but but they all look like they're hooked up uh, well, maybe I'll go back was another junction back there. Maybe I can get around to it. Before leaving, it's always a good idea for the crew to run a blower door test just to make sure the house hasn't been over tightened. But it doesn't end with installing measures. In order to make sure the measures are installed correctly and the client knows their role in saving money on energy bills, the process follows up with a final inspection and a sit down with the client. Good 
Good morning, Sally. I'm Good Jewel morning. with HRDC in the weatherization program. Yes. I saw you last year and I yes, talked about your energy conservation mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, I'm going to go over the results from what the energy usage was in the last year. All right. Because what we did was we took how much gas and electricity that you used the year before we weatherized your home, mm -hmm. and then we weatherized your house, mm -hmm. and now we're going to take the usage that since we weatherized your home and see what a difference it made. Two years ago, you spent $1,852. That was combined gas and electricity, how much you spent for 12 months. In the most recent year, in the most, last 12 months, you spent 1341 So you've actually saved $511 just in gas and electricity. <laughs> yes, very good. This graph shows your total usage. Two years ago is the red line, which your usage was each month. And then the lined graph next to it is what your usage was the most recent year. So you get to keep one of these copies, and it tells that month there was a big difference. Mm -hmm. What month was that? That was um, January. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get a very vivid difference. Three. These are your actual bills for the last year. Yeah, that was your highest one was 153. Mm -hmm. Very good. And when your highest one before was 300? Mm-hmm. 300 okay. and something. Here's some pamphlets. I think I shared some of these with you last yeah. year when I was mm -hmm. here. And um, did we replace windows? Yes. Okay. The windows have all been replaced. Uh-huh. And we did some insulation. Mm, yes. We put in a little over $2,000 worth of weatherization into your home. And we estimated in our audit that the savings was going to be about $372 and you saved 511 so wow. you did very well. You got mm -hmm. a big happy face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> yeah, attic insulation, we tuned up the furnace. Um, carbon monoxide detector, CO detector, yes. smoke alarm, mm -hmm. aerators, swamp cooler cover. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And insulated the attic access lid. Any questions about the work that was done that we did or anything? Oh, or? No, it's great. Uh huh. Great. Great. Good. Well, I'm so glad that we could help you out, and I'm glad that you made. It takes two to make this difference here. Part of the is our workmanship and doing the work on your home, and the other part is your lifestyle and stuff and whatever changes that you can make in your lifestyle to make your bills go down. Right. You did very well. So we've covered a lot of information in a very short period of time, but this was just the overview. Keep in mind that the intent of this series is to break down all of the skills needed for the steps of the weatherization process into much greater depth. 